Okay, hello guys, uh, this is Massive Nosus 805 coming at you from a Twitch channel, Twitch.tv. Um, yeah, today I wanted to take some time to explain the zombie room. Right now, I just showed, um, there is, I just showed like the basic setup, basically the most optimal way to get in and out of the zombie room. However, it's also a very, very ris risky way, so you only want to do this if you're actually going for optimal time. So let me first talk about the setup. I, I showcase the three different outcomes that you could get. But this is a setup. Basically you want to cut in. You want to just get there as soon as fast as possible. You want to get to the mode disc without getting grabbed by the last zombie. You want to cut in as you know as sharp as possible. Now at this point, this is where the RNG comes into place because there's three different outcomes as I just uh as I just showcased right now. Uh, the worst possible one is as soon as I turn around, uh, the zombie is going to grab me immediately. And if you're on danger, you're going to die. Um, the other two outcomes is uh, that zombie is not going to be in your way and he's not going to grab you. And you can either go around or you could cut, which I believe is the absolute pa fastest way in and out of the zombie room. You could actually cut right into the bookshelf. You could go straight into the bookshelf, basically YOLO strat. Uh, and you go right in between, you slip right in between two zombies. So I'm gonna try right now, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try and do the one where you slip right past the two zombies going into the bookshelf. Now, you know, depending on the RNG, that won't work because sometimes one of the zombies is gonna be turned around and they might be too close. So yeah, basically, at this point you have to trust your gut. Either you're gonna, if you're going for optimal time, either you're gonna go straight to the bookshelf you're going to go to the boxes and go straight into the bookshelf or you're going to go around the last zombie the long way. So let me let me try and do the the fastest one that I know of. So that right there is super risky. However, from my experience, it does work. It works the the percentage isn't very high, so it's a very very risky strat. You only want to do this again if you're going for you know optimal optimal time um, however you know you might also want to go around you have to trust your gut because the zombies will not always do the same thing however there's three outcomes that I've determined see right there obviously I could take you know obviously I, I should be taking a better line right there but that's the other option. That's the alternative option. However, this isn't always safe because sometimes that last zombie, he's going to be really far away where if you go around, he's going to grab you. You know, so yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. And um, yeah, this is just uh, the very risky strat that, you know, I've that I kind of experimented with. But remember, there's one setup and three outcomes as far as I know. Oh yeah, thanks for watching and have a good one.